I am Hall of Fame coach Van Chancellor. This is my van. This is Coaches in a Van with Coach Van. Tell me some of the changes that you had to make when you moved from one chair to the next chair. Last year was a learning experience. My first year getting the head coach at Nichols. And, you know, it's it's a big difference. And I, all my old bosses have always told me what a difference it was. And when you're a young assistant, you think, you know, it's it's not that big a change. But you do. All the decisions in, the, in your program, how you're going to do things, are it's your decision. Okay, you were a walk-on in college, and then you didn't stay there but one year, and then you went straight into coaching. You know, this obvious, you were not a great player. I'm not trying to down you, but that's just a fact. I, I was the greatest bench warmer in the history of junior college <laughs> bench warming. That's why I got into coaching. But how did that help you? My bench warming time really helped me as a coach. How did that help you? Yeah, it helped me to learn the game. You know, I've, I've always been a student of the game. You know, I wanted to coach basketball since I was eight years old, but got a dry erase board for Christmas when I was eight. So I always, you know, I was a good high school player like a lot of guys, but I knew when I went to college that I was using that experience, even when I walked on to Eastern Kentucky, to mold myself into the best coach that I could. And I decided to volunteer to NAI school, you know, and work my way up that way instead of continuing to play. So I'm, I'm really glad now that I took the path that I did. Ladies and gentlemen, when you bring in nine new players, you begin to think, hey, I, I, am I going to win a game this year? Do you ever have that feeling in pre-practice? Yeah, like we like the nine we brought in. A lot of them, you know, we got some grad transfers, one from Clemson, one from Arizona State, one from Northern Colorado, another from Colorado State. Then we set out two, two transfers that were, you know, all league guys at a higher level. So a lot of our guys are older guys who've had some success. So. We're excited about our crew. Okay. If you had the last vote to change this rule, would you allow graduate transfers or not allow graduate transfers? I would allow it. I'm a proponent of graduate transfers. You know, I've always you know, had some success recruiting them. But I think you should be rewarded if you get your degree. They did what they needed to do in the classroom, got their degree. And to be able to transfer, you know, whether it's for more playing time or a better situation or to pursue a master's degree that their school didn't didn't offer I think you know I think it's a great move. well I think this that if you do graduate you ought to have opportunities we ought to reward those who get their degrees coach great luck go get them have, have a great year I'll see you in Katie